अ वेरी गुड मॉर्निंग आज जैसे आशुतोष एंड वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल दी बाई कर रहे हम तो आज हम बात करने वाले बहुत ही अनोखे एक जगह के बारे में और एक ऐसा प्लेस है जो मुझे बेंगलोर में ही मिला है नम्मा बेंगलुरु क्या आपको पता है रेडियो वेव सबसे पहले 1886 में आइडेंटिफाई की गई थी एंड एटीन हंड्रेड में समवेयर रेडियो ट्रांसमीटर्स एंड रिसीवर्स बने थे इन द ईयर नाइनटीन में रेडियो का कॉमर्शियल यूज़ होना शुरू हो गया था वर्ल्ड फर्स्ट रेडियो स्टेशन कहाँ पर था पिट्सबर्ग में इंडिया का सबसे पहला रेडियो स्टेशन कहाँ पे था कैलकटा एंड देन मुंबई इन द ईयर 1923 ऑल इंडिया रेडियो कब शुरू हुआ इन द ईयर 1936 आज की डेट में सबसे ज़्यादा रेडियो हम लोग कहाँ यूज़ करते हैं या yes, अपनी कार में एक सबसे इंटरेस्टिंग बात है रेडियो की कि रेडियो का हमें लाइसेंस लेना पड़ता था एनुअल चार्जेस होते थे जो कि कहीं मैंने पढ़ा कि इन द ईयर नाइनटीन में फिफ्टीन रुपीज़ एनुअल चार्जेस थे और ये रेडियो का लाइसेंस हमें मिलता कहाँ से था डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ पोस्ट एंड टेलीग्राफ जो कि पोस्ट ऑफिस आज हो चुका है वो पहले डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ पोस्ट एंड टेलीग्राफ था तो हमें वहाँ से लाइसेंस मिलता था एंड फाइनली ये सिस्टम 1984 में ख़त्म हो गया उसके बाद हर कोई रेडियो यूज़ कर सकता है तो ये सब बातें मैं क्यों कर रहा हूँ आप सोच रहे होंगे तो आज भी रेडियो के बहुत से दीवाने हैं रेडियो को सजा के अपने घरों में रखते हैं या एज अ म्यूज़ियम पुरानी रेडियोज़ को रिन्यू करते हैं रिस्टोर करते हैं एंड उसे डिस्प्ले करते हैं तो ऐसा ही कुछ रेडियो म्यूजियम हमें मिला नम्मा बेंगलुरु में यस बेंगलोर में इसीलिए मैं ये सारी बातें आज कर रहा हूँ रेडियो के बारे में तो चलिए देखते हैं वो कैसा म्यूजियम है वहाँ पे कैसी कैसी रेडियोज हमें देखने को मिलती है तो चलिए चलते हैं तो फिर से मैं नाइस रोड पर और मैं बाइक से जा रहा हूँ बिकॉज तो अगर मैं सिटी के अंदर से जाता तो काफ़ी टाइम लगता कार से जाता तो सेम प्रॉब्लम फ्लैश ब्रेक दबाते रहो बहुत टाइम लग जाता इसलिए मैंने सोचा कि चलो नाइस रोड लेते हैं तो सिटी के अंदर से 23 किलोमीटर नाइस रोड से 40 किलोमीटर बट टाइम कम लगेगा नाइस रोड से मेरे को ये इकोनॉमिकल भी लगा और एनर्जी भी बचेगी थकूंगा भी नहीं और टाइम भी कम लगेगा इसलिए नाइस रोड से बाइक का कॉम्बिनेशन सही लगा क्लोवर लीव जंक्शन उसी से हमें राइट लेना है फिर उसके बाद पाँच छः किलोमीटर और जाना होगा तो अभी मैं हूँ नाइस रोड के क्लोवर लीव जंक्शन पे जहाँ कल फोटोग्राफी की थी तो अभी यहाँ से 15 किलोमीटर और जाना है सो फाइनली आई रीज डेयर शॉर्ट वेव रेडियो म्यूजियम और ये कोई ऐसा कमर्शियल नहीं है इनफैक्ट उदय कुलवर्गी उनका है तो उनका अपना म्यूजियम है उन्होंने बना रखा है telecom company called Alcatel Lucent after i came out uh, i just wanted to give something back to bangalore bangalore has given me job life and you know now today i have to return uh, something to something bangalore to bangalore so okay. i thought bangalore is an itbt high tech city yeah so to give it a vintage edge yeah. i started this uh, vintage radio museum for the school kids engineering students high school students yeah where they have not seen the radio in their lifetime they can come and enjoy from li- like uh, how many years you are doing this like uh, restoration I and as a hobby my radio my hobby touch with radio yeah yeah as when i was uh, fourth standard okay okay from that they almost have been doing christian radio mm-hmm. trying to learn radio repair and do that okay so after my engineering uh, Because a man has to have something in his life other than the normal office hours, and of course the passion should be helpful to the society also, not just for yourself. So that's why I opened this museum. Now also you are getting radios from all over. The world. Yeah, I get the radios from uh, far off places like uh, Mizoram, Delhi, Gujarat. I get from Dubai. I get from um, Jordan. I get from lot of lot of other places because manufacturing is difficult right destroying it doesn't take much time right. you just just destroy it in seconds yeah in seconds so 
So I have the collection of radios which were very very unique like okay the earlier 1930s 40s you know mm-hmm. they used to book the radio yeah that murphy right i mean movie which is the oldest one you have here uh, this one is the oldest this is 1928 30 so at that time they did not have this band switch okay mm-hmm. so you have you were supposed to change the coin so you had a bunch my coins okay only means limited number of coins yeah. oh. you were uh, changing this band dials yeah it's something like these all came after 1955 so earlier it was only the rotary kind of mm-hmm. yeah So this is only 34th in the world. Uh, one of this the, is a radio. It's a radio. Oh. One of the person who made a study on this. This is from Canada. Oh. Uh, and UK. They made only hundred sets. This one. Yeah, and then so, it's the 34th in the world. So how uh, channel is changed? Like it moving? Is, is like this here. <laughs> Actually, I have to restore it through this arrow. Yeah. Okay. Two side for me. Latest one. Yeah. Zenith. So Zenith computers or this is some other yeah, brand? Zenith uh, USA. Okay, Maybe okay. So one of the biggest uh, radio from Philips. Probably only one has come to India mm-hmm. because uh, it was a part of the radiogram, a huge cabinet actually. Okay. Then all these telecraft Viking and all, no? Mm-hmm. They were all made in Mumbai with the help of some uh, other manufacturers. Okay. What is this crown talking machine? That is a talking machine. That is a uh, basically a record player. Mm-hmm. It is 1907 uh, make. Uh, it has to be rotated at the same speed, yeah. which is described by the disc, and then the needle picks up the noise. Right, right. Or the music. Uh, radio plus radio grab. You play here and then listen there. So this is one of the biggest radio and. Uh, radio gram which you can keep the records also here and this is the speaker and then you can keep the record see at that time no bigger the radio your uh, prestige used to go up in the society yeah like landline phone uh, <laughs> it came in 90s uh, yeah only with few people people used to come and uh, call and yeah it was all days at that time <laughs> that was costing uh, 350 rupees in 1963 this is a bill 350 rupees 1963 and this was taken by a headmaster of a government school radio HB. television license and uh, this is the fees you were supposed so, to pay 15 rupees mm-hmm. um radio in a one place so they will assign murphy this 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 and bellar this is shifted to one particular place this is the national eco 1964 ad and these are the prices 783 is the biggest radio mm-hmm. in 1964 okay my museum has seven wonders of radio uh, okay. so
the latest radio in 1928? Which uh, I restored it for the last so many days. I've been working on it actually. Such a small radio, beautiful radio. These are the walls, you know. Like, uh, so we don't get them here. Mm -hmm. So I have to buy it off from Netherlands. These are walls for what? Uh, they are basically semiconductor. Okay, now that all time. these have become small uh, yeah, yeah. diode and all semiconductor. Yeah, yeah. So earlier this used to be the inside yeah. the radius. Uh, this morning uh, after uh, uh, one month work, okay, okay. because I had to study everything. I had to do the lot of calculation because this one is a very rare set, you know. So I did lot of work, groundwork. And working on both footing in order to make the road the and what I have to do, all that I do, mm -hmm. and then this morning this uh, started working, and this has come from Dubai. So all these radios are in your like workshop for restoration, right? Yeah, yeah, they are very old, uh, uh, like this one, you know, 1940. Still you have to restore this? Yeah, these are all my own, but I do restore for others also, like this one has, given, somebody has given me this to restore. Mm -hmm. so, Completely I rework, I restore uh, everything like all uh, electronics we had to check. Uh, okay. He is my guru, Pandurajan. Okay. And this man is uh, Jagdish Chandra Bose. He is the one who uh, found radio frequencies, not Marconi. Okay. They were working parallelly, yeah, yeah. but Jagdish Chandra Bose did not patent it. Okay, and but Marconi did the patent. Okay. So he became... Uh, Everybody thinks he is the inventor of uh, radio. Right. But in my view, uh, Jagdish Chandra Bose is the person who has uh, given us the radio waves, right. and how they work and all that. Really? We should be proud of him actually. Yeah. But uh, unfortunately... Um, People are <laughs> thinking some... It was really nice experience looking at all these radios. They are restored and they are gifted from kings and maharajas as well. And uh, really it was a nice experience. I would like to thank Allowed Me Picture and everything. Thank so, you, thank you. I will post Thanks. everything uh, on sure. YouTube in one or two, three days. It was really thank good. Thanks, you have a lot of good, ex uh, I will say, yeah, collection. This is a history, no? we have to preserve yeah, this. Yeah. Okay, thank, thank you, so you sir. तो ये था एक अनोखा शॉर्ट वेव रेडियो न्यूज़ अगर आपको वीडियो अच्छी लगी है तो एक लाइक कर दो और फ्रेंड्स के साथ शेयर कर देना अगर चैनल को आपने सब्सक्राइब नहीं किया तो प्लीज़ सब्सक्राइब कर लो ताकि आपको सारे नोटिफिकेशन सबसे पहले मिलते रहें तो मिलते हैं आपसे अगले ब्लॉग में किसी नई जगह पर किसी नए ब्लॉग में टिल दैन टाटा